what's up everybody, Tyler from 10thumbspro.com. I'm a believer in, in internet teaching, so I'm gonna teach you I'm a believer by the monkeys today, all right? It's an easy song, it's got a great riff, a great beginner song, and it's really easy to sing, all right? Some really easy changes. Plus, you can play it for the kids, Shrek, it's cute, it's awesome, all right? 10thumbspro.com, check out the links below, see how you can get involved and help us grow. But if you came just for this lesson, it's cool, I respect that I dig it. Grab your ukulele, grab your brain, grab your attention span, and follow me on into this lesson. Let's break it down. All right, all you monkey fans out there. My mom, my mom used to love this song when I was a little guy. All right, and then of course Shrek made it popular again, and so did Smash Mouth. It was a big hit, but we're gonna break it down, all right? Well, let's start with the song. Let's start with the chorus. Then we'll move into the verse, and then we'll get the intro part that goes. We're gonna do that last, all right? Okay, so the song's gonna need, the chords you're gonna need for the song are right? a G, a D, a C, and a D7. If this D7 is difficult for you because you can't play bar chords, I want this to be a beginner song, I want you all to get it, you can also play a D7 like this. Alright? Okay, now, the verse is going to start off with a turnaround that goes G, D, G, G. Alright? And that happens two times. So you're going to play each of those chords for four beats. Something like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Alright? So after going G, C, G, C, G, C eight times, you're going to go G, 
C, G, F chord, all right? We're gonna need an F chord right here. Now, if you want to, you could also, with this part, like they do in the song, let those chords ring. I'm in love. All right, so the whole chorus, G, C, let's just go ahead and strum through the chorus together. So the last piece is that little riff, which is, happens at the intro, and it happens at the end of the choruses before you go to the verse. The intro, I'm going to fret that F note, which is the first fret of the E string, and I'm going to fret the D note, which is the second fret of the C string. And I'm going to pluck these three notes together twice. Then I'm going to remove my hand and pluck them again twice. put my finger back on that F note, first fret, E string, and I'm going to flick the C string, hammer on, and then hit the F note. So it goes pluck, hammer, flick. Alright, now, I would really listen to the record to get the feeling of it, the timing just right, but the idea is kind of like to do it six times-ish. Now you can really kind of play with it, whatever's com comfortable for you. Add some pauses in there, but then you just go right back into the verse, all right? So if you take it from the top, I'll play the intro, the riff, the verse, and then the chorus, and then I'll do the riff again, and I'll start the chorus, or start the verse, and that'll be a little play along, all right? So here we go. taking a fat nasty solo. Alright, now you're a believer, I'm a believer, we're all believers and we just rocked out the monkeys and now we need new haircuts and I need a haircut anyways, but we need a haircut like the monkeys to really own that song, alright? Neil Diamond, the monkeys, Smash Mouth, they all made it, now you can make it, make it a big ukulele cover success and get a million views and tell everyone to watch 10thumbspro.com. New songs every Wednesday, new songs every Saturday, plus scales, jazz, jamming, everything you need to be a complete ukulele player, all right? Just go to the website and learn for free. That's all there is to it, dudes, do greens. All right, take care, and until next time, a big hug from 10 Thumbs, 10 Thumbs up.